All right. I've got 333, guys, right on the dot. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, thank you all again for uh, attending today's session. Uh, my name is Thomas Jablonski, and I am with the tech support team here at Brisk Heat located in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, I will be presenting today's session. Um, so today's tech talk will be, we're still doing a, a self-regulating cable series. Uh, this will be the third session of the series. And uh, the first two, one was on how to lay cable. Uh, the next one was on how to uh, strip your cable uh, for these kits, uh, your termination kits, et cetera. And today's session, we're gonna go ahead and install uh, three kits. Uh, I've got a few videos, short videos um, that we're gonna go through. Uh, and I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks uh, to help uh, go through all that stuff and uh, have a successful install. And that's our goal with these things. We wanna make sure you guys are comfortable and uh, you have a successful cable install. Um, and you try. we try to help you guys avoid some of the uh, more commonly seen mistakes during these installs. Uh, so the kits we're gonna be installing today uh, one of them will be the uh, low profile GET in-seal kit, uh, same type uh, GET kit, uh, it's going to be an inline splice kit, and the last will be a circuit monitor LED light kit. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So let's talk, take a look at the agenda. Uh, first thing, we're gonna go over the goal. Uh, your guys' end goal, your overall goal on this thing, on these kits. Uh, we're gonna go over the instructions on your kits. We're gonna, like I said before, we're gonna watch a few videos and uh, we're gonna have a Q and A session at the end. You guys can go ahead and uh, write your questions in the, um, the chat box and I'll go ahead and answer them during that. Um, after that, we're gonna go ahead and and do a quick wrap up. And at the very end, guys, I'm gonna give you a promo code uh, that will be uh, valid for the next 30 days. So let's talk about the goal. So your end goal, when you're applying a kit to your cable, the goal or the rule uh, will be to make sure that everything is isolated. Uh, what I mean is, uh, you got to make sure that the braided wires are isolated from the bus wires and the semiconductive core. You also want to keep the bus wires isolated from themselves, from each other. Uh, you, at the same time, you want to ensure everything stays sealed and free from moisture. Um, yeah, follow the instructions on the kit, of course, but uh, this is, you got to keep this in mind when you're doing them. And paying attention now, it's gonna save you some uh, time in the future. Let's briefly go over the kit instructions, what you guys are gonna look for. Um, yeah, guys, you gotta read the instructions on, the, on your kits. I don't care if you've done it a hundred times before. Uh, these kits, uh, they change. You, some of the uh, instructions change. Some of the material that, that makes the kits uh, they change. So different revs are made at all times. So do yourself a favor, even if you've done the kit before, just at least glance over um, what you're looking for, obviously, uh, the tools needed. Uh, you'll look at the kits components. You want to verify, confirm you have everything uh, you need for that kit. There's nothing worse than, and I'm sure you guys have done it, nothing worse than opening a kit. Uh, you've already spliced your cable. Uh, and you're missing pieces and parts. Uh, it's frustrating. So save yourself a little time, go through the kit's components. Uh, another thing is you'll want to pay attention to the dimensional callouts. Uh, they're gonna call out and they're gonna tell you uh, what to cut and where to cut it. Uh, for example, the outer jacket, uh, the inner jacket, uh, the conductive core, et cetera. Uh, every kit's a little different and they call out different uh, dimensions. Uh, where to cut. So um, 
and I'm going to give you some other tips like, like, or the, excuse me, the instructions give you more tips, like what to uh, thread the cable through before you start even stripping this cable. Um, Cause if you don't, it'll be nearly impossible to get that cable through uh, after it's stripped. So guys, when I, uh, when I talk to people about laying cable, I suggest that a service loop loop be left at all kit locations, wherever you're going to install a kit. Uh, when I do that for, well, obvious reasons, it, it's, uh, you might need a little extra love there. Uh, make a, a cut that's too short, uh, whatever. It, something pops up, you need a little extra cable. Not everybody does that though. You you have some uh, installers, cable installers that just run that cable and they give you exactly what's needed uh, and there's no room for error. Uh, when you guys read these instructions, you will help alleviate uh, the need for more cable. Uh, as you know, a, a, a being an inch short uh, is just as uh, bad as being a mile short. So instructions, read them. Okay, now we're gonna watch a few short videos. Um, the first one is going to be uh, stripping the cable and the next three will be on installing those uh, those GET kits, the GET kits. So this cable here is being stripped. Um, the dimensions are actually from the first video you're gonna watch uh, from the splice kit. Um, I didn't wanna throw this into every individual video. So I thought I'd throw a quick one at the beginning save us a little time. So I lightly score the outer jacket uh, and just kind of work that outer jacket out. You don't want to go too deep with that first cut and damage the um, braided wire there. Uh, next, you want to uh, pull that cable through the braided wire, work it through there. Uh, I make it look like <laughs> It's more difficult than it is. It's really not hard to do. Um, I laugh every time I watch this video. Anyway, you just kind of clean it up afterwards. Uh, from there, you're gonna get your dimension from the instructions and you're gonna cut that inner, inner sleeve. And like I said, just score it lightly and you can bend it back and forth and it'll break at the score and remove it. And guys, there's tons of ways of doing this. Um, this is the best way I've found. It, it, it works for me the best. Uh, from here, I, you got to get them bus wires out of the way. I kind of cut a M there. You can see it. Uh, I grab the center at that point uh, with the needle nose pliers and with other pliers, I just pull back the bus wire and it separates pretty easily there. Uh, from there, I just start cleaning things up. Um, lastly, I'm going to go ahead and cut that uh, inner core and that is it. Quick and painless guys. Uh, dimensions again, uh, this is not for every kit, so please read your instructions. The next video is going to be on the low profile inline splice connection kit, uh, the JHS GET. Now this kit, you are able to uh, splice two cables together or three. It's completely up to you. Um, yeah, it's capable of doing three. I'm gonna show two for this video. As you can see, I've got my grommet on there already uh, before I started uh, cleaning that cable up, stripping the cable. Um, I stripped the cable, of course, before Now I'm just shortening the uh, excess cable that I don't need, the excess wires, and install it. I mean, it's, it's a nice, easy kit. What I like about these kits is that they are, uh, there's no heat gun needed in the field, uh, nor any uh, silicone or anything like that um, to make a seal. Uh, just a dry kit, 
these are awesome. I love them. So you just work your wires, your bus wires in there one way on one side. Um, and then you do it on the other side as well. And you're able to obviously take the screws out and the clamp if you choose to, if it's easier for you, uh, just like I did there and put it back in. And then just rinse and repeat and do it on the other side. Shorten the excess. Put it under the clamp and cinch it down with the screw. Nice and easy. These red rubber grommets on the end, um, they're a little difficult to get on, but they're, they're worth it in the end. Um, with them being so tight, they're the reason we don't need any silicone or ITV uh, for moisture purposes to keep the moisture out. Yeah, so after you tighten that up, go ahead and put your seal on, your cap on. And just imagine doing this in the field, guys. It's going to be a lot easier um, than not only having to uh, strip your cable, uh, but you're not having to um, use a heat gun or, or a torch to on some, uh, some heat cable to shrink it on. It's more practical out in the field from what I've seen. Got a lot of positive feedback on it. And you just tighten that one side down and you switch and there you are. Both sides are tight. Uh, you got a nice sealed splice kit in line. There's all its uh, approvals all its ratings. And let's go ahead and go to the next one. This is the JHE GET. It's a low profile in seal kit. There, this is the easiest kit to install I have seen to this date. I've got a notch there, uh, the inner core. Uh, and, and you can see the braid is cut all the way back to cleaned up. There's no braid showing at all. Um, instructions, that's what, they, that's what they called for. That's what I did. You slide your grommet in there. And you start screwing in that clamp. And you are, that's it. As soon as you are done screwing it in, probably be a lot faster with a... Uh, with a battery operated drill or an impact. But regardless, you guys get it. Um, yeah, nice and easy, very simple to use. Has anybody, and you guys can answer in chat if you want, has anybody uh, had the opportunity to use any of these kits before or anything like them? Okay. All right, and you just keep going from there and you're done. Nice and easy, guys. Had a technical glitch, I apologize. And there it is, you can see the seal in there, the grommet sealed. Um, watertight, good stuff, good product, very easy to install. 
Okay. All right, we are right on time, guys. Next slide. Now we're gonna do the uh, in-circuit monitor light kits, the JHE LGGT. This thing is, uh, it's pretty bright. Um, good product, very good product. Easy to install, as you can see. It comes with a, uh, a pipe strap uh, that you can you can slide down there at the bottom, and it'll hold uh, tight to the strap the pipe you're you're applying it to. Uh, so you have that. And if you can see under my hand right now, there's a grommet that I pre-installed as well, uh, per the instructions. That grommet is actually a little tough, a little tough to, to work through, as you'll see um, later in the video. But yeah, you just you just uh, attach these two wires uh, to the two bus wires of the cable. And what this light does is, is when your circuit is running, that light will be on. Um, you'll know that if there's a problem with your circuit, if that light is off. So it is, uh, people love it. They, they, they rave on it. It's, it's a good product. Great idea. Now you'll see me here fussing with it, trying to get it in there. It is a little difficult, uh, but again, it, it, its purpose is to make sure it seals um, without having to use a heat gun or silicone out in the field. And you just tuck your wires in the lid there. And close it up. And you are done. And you can see down there at that that uh, that hole at the bottom of the kit, the, the stand, excuse me, that you will uh, you'd put that pipe strap on. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open it up uh, to questions. And I know this is a uh, this is a quick session, but I've only got a half hour to do this. I don't want to take up the middle of your day. Just want it to be a quick, informative uh, session, presentation. So if you guys have any questions on the products, uh, what you've seen so far, let me know. Uh, through chat, please. Next week's session, um, while I got here, I've got a few minutes uh, allotted for this. So next week's session is going to be on uh, the PTBO um, kit. And what it is, it's the power termination kit um, for these GET kits that goes with them. So that's what next session will be on. Uh, that one, you will need a, uh, a torch or a heat gun to install. Um, so any questions whatsoever, guys? Nothing. Okay. And that's fine. You guys don't have to have questions. Let's go ahead and move on. And that is, that sums it up. I mean, that's, that's it as far as the presentation goes. Um, real simple, real easy kits. Uh, the installers love them. Uh, easy to use. 
Yeah, reliable. They're just great kits. Uh, let's talk about uh, the next session. Uh, we're going to have a couple more sessions on self-regulated cable uh, before we ended up or ended, excuse me, and go to another um, series. Okay, so the next session, like I said before, will be installing our PTBO GET power connection kits. It'll be on Thursday, November 19th at 3.33 p.m. Eastern Time. And again, I want to remind you that this is a larger, part of a larger series. Future editions will be held on the third Thursday of each month. Um, aside from this one, of course, it was on the fourth. So every other one will be, the, the rest of them will be on the third Thursday of the month. Uh, so I'm going to leave you with my contact information. Uh, guys, feel free to reach out um, for uh, any technical problems, any questions. Excuse me. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, if you have any technical questions or, or questions on the product, let me know. Uh, I will definitely uh, get back to you as soon as I can. If you have any uh, questions on uh, or ideas on future sessions and series, you want to know about some of our different products, let me know. Uh, I'm looking for, for ideas, for suggestions there. Uh, if you have anything technically related uh, with our products, just yeah, reach out. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and put your code here in the live chat. It's BHTT dash three or three, no dash. What that'll give you is 10% uh, off, and that code is good for 30 days uh, starting from today. Um, any any questions, guys? Before I before I let you all go, okay. I'm going to leave this up here for a while. I appreciate you all for attending. Um, like I said, if you have any suggestions on future content, please let me know. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.